Hey, this is a bit of a response to Mamba Jumbo's latest video where he built a 5x4x5 five by by five redstone base and I challenged people to make it smaller. Mine is 5x5x4, five by five by it's not actually smaller, but I did throw in some more items, so why not? I had a lot of fun making it, so I guess I'll make a video on it. So the first thing it has, of course, is a uh, two item, two furnace furnace array. You can... Ooh. Hello. Yep, it's right here on the side. Unfortunately, I could not get these to go sideways. That's the main reason why it's five tall. And yeah, your items come out there. There's an enchanting table. There is a... Nope. There's a water source right there you can use. Don't know how... All right, go away. Over here, there's a quick crop farm. Typical design. All of the uh, dispensers are triggered, I believe. And there's actually an um, activator rail right underneath this hopper minecart underneath the bed. And uh, that updates the dispenser because it's being powered. It's being uh, quasi connected by this piece of redstone. So. I just didn't want to have the redstone running all the way over there. I think it powered something else. Maybe it's not relevant now, but who cares? Over here, hanging off the side of the base, is a really... Uh, it's one wide. Half automatic potion brewer for two items. You just hit that button, and you can kind of see the potion brewer from over here. Alright, there you go. Water bottle input. Your items go in there. Back up in there. And there's no automatic output. Um, Mumba didn't do that either, so I figured I wouldn't... Um, storage here is a minecart chest because you couldn't open a regular chest because of the dropper right there. Uh, there are two chests over here for storing your most prized possessions. And over here, you can head down, say hello to the villagers. Fall off, apparently. And there's a little more storage right there. What else is there? What else is there? Enchanting table, anvil. Over here is a jukebox. Oh yeah, and also threw in two more things. So. Oh, I should demonstrate the uh, farms here. So every time it becomes daytime, this observer notices it, powers this crafting table. That's where the crafting table is. And uh, this goes across and breaks the sugar cane, which the hopper minecart under the bed picks up. And this piston goes down and crushes the uh, melon or pumpkin, either one, which goes into this minecart hopper. Probably could use a regular hopper there. Um, I also threw in two more things. Um, than Mumbo's had. It also has a day counter, just because why not? I had some extra space. So you throw in something cheap in here, and every time it becomes day, or every time this daylight sensor is triggered, it dispenses one item into that chest, so you can tell how long this area has been loaded, basically. And also, because why not? I threw in a fireworks dispenser. Yeah! <laughs> so it's the same size as Mumbo's, but it has two more items, and it's a little bit roomier. Um, I don't know why I didn't end up going with the same uh, style that he had, where there's like one area inside where you can see everything from. Mine, you can see everything from the outside. His, you can see most things from the inside. Um, I think it just worked out better for me that way. Here it is from the bottom. The water source is right there. It's also, of course, the thing that hydrates the farmland here and here and allows for the sugarcane to grow. Uh, this is the block that you grab. To trigger the... Uh, Crop farm, I use an observer clock. It's because if you power it with a piston, it's just as fast as a burnout clock, I believe. And for the fireworks dispenser, I had a lot of trouble squeezing this in, but I was able to get it uh, working under that water source. It also apparently powers that because I put the jukebox there. So I don't know, maybe I'll move that. But yeah, that's my 5x5x4 base, same size as Mumbo's some more things, a little bit roomier. There's a lot more air in mine, I believe. Uh, less storage, though. Only if, only uh, two double chests worth, unless you want to co-op this chest for your own use. Or this, or uh, maybe the fireworks dispenser is a bit stupid. Maybe you want to get rid of that. I'm rambling. Oh yeah, and the bed is uh, spawnable, by the way. Um, if beds aren't spawnable, you land right on top of them when you hit leave bed. So if I died, I would respawn. It wouldn't say that my bed was obstructed. So that's an important feature to have in a bed, of course.